This is interesting on many, many levels. There are the facts within the proposal, and then there is the fact of the proposal and who is proposing it, you, a Republican, along with a Democrat. First, let's talk about what's in the proposal here. You want to seal the records for nonviolent crimes for some adults. You want to expunge the records, in some cases, for kids under 15. What kind of crimes are you talking about here, and what do you see the impact as? Well, you know, one of the biggest impediments to employment in our country is having a criminal record. So what we said is for people who had nonviolent felonies, nonviolent crimes, mostly drug possession and minor drug sale crimes, that if you've served your time, wouldn't we want you to get a job rather than to go back into a life of crime? But you can't get a job a lot of times with a criminal record. This has become very, I've become very aware of this as I've met a lot of people. I go into some communities, I meet people who are ministers who say, well, yeah, I changed my life, but when I was 19, I did something wrong, and I still have trouble getting employment because of it. So it is a big problem. I think it's the right thing to do. And Senator Booker's been great to work with, and we're, we're happy that we've got a bipartisan bill here. So if you were convicted of pot, for instance, or certain drug crimes, you're saying just wipe it clean. There'd be no record of all. Right. For kids, it does it automatically. For adults, it has to be a year after you've gotten out of jail and you have to apply through a judge to get it. We tried to make it as easy as possible, but we still wanted there to be a process and a review process. But yeah, I think once you've served your time, you should get your rights back. I think the same for voting. And I've actually worked with the majority leader, Senator Harry Reid, as a co-sponsor of a bill with me to restore voting rights to people who have served their time. You've seen, you found a receptive audience uh, in Senator Cory Booker. You've been speaking to the White House about this and the attorney general and you found a receptive audience there as well yeah I spoke with the president this week about a few of these criminal justice issues he's indicated a, a desire to help push some of these issues Senator Mike Lee and Dick Durbin have one on mandatory minimums I've worked with Senator Leahy on one on mandatory minimums there's a lot of criminal justice issues we kind of went crazy in the 80s but we went too far and I think the public is ready to have a little more of an understanding uh, position with the law that maybe people should get a second chance and some of these convictions some of the people being charged charged with these crimes, it falls disproportionately along racial lines, doesn't it? Yeah, three out of four people in prison are black or brown for nonviolent drug crimes. However, when you look at drug use across the board, white kids are using drugs just as much as black and brown kids, but they don't get incarcerated at the same rate. In fact, 80% of the public is white, and so how do we get to three out of four people in prison are black or brown? There really is a racial outcome to the war on drugs, and we need to reevaluate it from top to bottom and make sure we're not incarcerating people, maybe inadvertently, but because of the color of their skin or their economic uh, status. 